YouTube. Today we're talking about the trunk light. So it's in kind of a weird place. I'm actually laying inside the trunk and it's actually pretty comfortable in here. So if your trunk is like mine, you just have the one light and it's really not very bright. So I want to look at one possibly pulling this and putting an LED bulb in there but number two tapping into the wiring and possibly running a LED light bar across here for the whole trunk or possibly putting it up there and t again tying into the same wires and you see me I'm just relaxing here in the trunk right now all right, I got the bulb fixture out. As you can see, it's just retained in with these plastic tabs. Now mine was oriented this way in there. So basically the wire connector comes all the way across and then back around. I'm wondering if it's not supposed to actually sit in there this way. So when I put this back in, that's what I'm gonna try to figure out. Now there's the bulb and my bulb's still working. But reason I'm doing this is to add some auxiliary lighting in the trunk make this a little bit brighter when you open it up so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna tap into these wires to run my additional LED lighting and this one kind of goes against the normal wiring protocol in that the red is actually the ground and the green is the hot so I don't know why they did that but that's what they did so my plan is to add the LED lighting somewhere up above there. So I'm going to run the wiring behind there. If you don't have one of these little grabby tools, I really recommend you get one. They're cheap and they come in really handy whenever you're doing any kind of car wiring. So you'll see how I fished it through there and that way I can just grab onto the wire on this end and then just pull from there and that'll fish the wire down and then I can repeat the process at that portion there and then I can decide if it's worth trying to untape all of this and try to fish it through the uh, conduit there or just tape it next to it. this location to install the light and I'm just installing a LED strip light so I'm going to clean this area with some rubbing alcohol 91% isopropyl alcohol and then stick that approximately there and the alcohol just removes any grease or anything that might keep that from sticking very well Okay, I'll let this go to where there's not power here right now. And uh, basically what that means is, if, you know, if the trunk is left open long enough, eventually the light cuts off. That's just to keep you from draining the battery, but for our purposes, that's keeping this a little bit safer. If, if this was something that didn't shut off, then I wouldn't have stripped both of these at once. So basically what we're going to do is I've fished the wires through to the spot so that basically these will be able to be together and pop up into there with the light fixture. So 
what we do is we've stripped that back a bit and we're gonna wrap that around it and try to get it as tight as you can it's not an exact science but something like that and then I'm gonna put some flux on there solder that in and really the only option that I know of is to tape that because you can't slide a heat shrink I never found a T-shaped heat shrink that you could put on after the fact. And then, same thing with the hot. And I'll tell you, this is really tripping me out here, having red to green and black to red. <laughs> Alright, so some flex and some solder and some tape, and that part will be done. Alright, done soldering. I taped it off. What I do just for extra safety is I tape the hot off, tape the ground off, and then I tape both of them over that. So extra protection, probably way more than you, what you need, but I'd rather have that than to pop a fuse later on. So you see it's back in there, and I went ahead, I tried to put it in differently than it was before and it didn't work so I ended up putting it in back with the same orientation that when I took it out originally. And now you see that the LED is working too. So we'll see how much light this adds when it's dark. Uh, the uh, charger trunk is much worse than the Crown Vic trunk so I definitely plan on doing this to the charger as well, see if that helps it at all. So thank you for watching, appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe, and uh, thank you for everybody that's been watching my videos.